Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel has some of the most devastating and most terrifying Yu-Gi-Oh! decks of all time. You guys already know I cover most of the craziest decks, but you guys already know with the recent update that the game has gotten. Yo, we got a huge ban list. And in that ban list, we got a bunch of dragons unleashed. Guys, you guys already know, dragon rulers are now back at full power. This deck right here back in 2013, when the deck was actually tier zero. The deck now is actually even better than it was back in the day because we got so many access to newer cards like Link Monsters. We got access to more Xyz Monsters. And the level seven base deck that helps you get access to rank seven Xyz just became literally unbeatable with this brand new ban list. So guys, today we got you guys a brand new update for Dragon Rulers. And guys, what if I told you that this deck actually first turn kills? This is probably the most toxic deck that I've ever created here in Master Duel with Dragon Rulers. And we're about to first turn kill all our opponents. Let's begin. Guys, let's aim for 3,000 plus likes. Just smash thumbs up button away, you know what I'm saying? It really helps push the video out on the algorithm. And I really appreciate you guys. And also, while you're at it, leave a comment in the comments below on what deck you guys want me to cover next when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel or what other crazy video ideas you guys want to see. Because I love to create what you guys want to see. So let me know in the comment section below. Or even challenges. Let me know. All right, ladies and gents. This is my 60 card. Yes. 60 card Dragon Ruler decklist. All right. So the whole basis of this deck right here is you guys see where the FTK happens, right? You got Black Wing Assault Dragon. Each time your opponent monsters activate this effect, place one Black Feather counter this card. When that effect resolves, and you do, inflict 700 damage to your opponent. So you're going to be basically something Black Wing Assault Dragon. While having Beals, you're going to get Beals to your opponent. Cannot be destroyed by battle card effects. If you take damage from attack in this card or from an opponent's card effect, this card gains attack equal to the damage you took. So this card activates. Anytime you take damage, you, you will trigger off its ability to gain the attack of the damage that you took. Once that happens, while you have Assault Dragon on the field, your opponent will keep losing 700 life points because Beals will keep on triggering because you'll keep doing damage with Black Wing Assault Dragon, which will cause an infinite loop. So how does this work? Like, well, you have cards like Geonator Transverser. This card right here switches monsters on each side. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to Black Garden. You summon Black Garden, summon Beals, switch the Black Garden token and give your opponent the Beals, summon Assault Dragon, then infinite loop damage. How you're gonna inflict damage to your opponent is by making Beals first, and then using Cupid Pitch and a level six monster to make, of course, the Black Wing Assault Dragon. You know, level four, level six, which is Galaxy Token to make the Assault Dragon. Then Cupid Pitch will deal a thousand damage because this card's a level 10, causing the infinite loop with the Assault Dragon. So the whole goal of this deck is trying to get two level sevens on the field. Once you got two level sevens on the field, you got Galaxy's Tomahawk, and that's it. And you guys will see how consistent this combo is. And the reason I'm playing 60 cards is because you're playing a bunch of bricks that you want to draw. You don't want to draw Jao 2. You don't, you don't want to draw a on You don't want to draw a Chi Win, And that's pretty much it. You don't want to draw any of these guys. So you, I maximize myself on playing 60. So I don't see these cards. And also at the same time, the chance of you seeing two level sevens on the board is absolute ease with this deck right here. So going first, first turn kill. Your opponent literally has no shot. Holy smokes. This deck is absolutely insane. Without further ado, Val rolled the intro. And let's get started with the duel. Supreme Pro, the best competitive trading card game sleeves ever. Easily gliding, easy shuffling, durable, and is what all the pro players use. Get yours now in a variety of different colors. It's the only protection your cards need. Visit tsx1.com now. Link in the description box below. All right, guys, let's go first and FTK. Let's do it, guys. You know what? I'm going to make this guy... Dread playing against me. And, you know, we're going to go ham, ladies and gents. We are going to go ham. That is hand is just absolutely insane. So we're going to special summon this. Okay. We're going to add activate Fenrir's effect. Uh, we're going to search, of course, the Rise Heart here. And I think the best option here is to activate this. Uh, send Redox right here. And literally, guys, any way to get into at Tomahawk... And one extender is full combo. And I'm going to prove to you guys. And I'm going to showcase you guys how toxic this deck is, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm going to showcase you guys this right now. But, like, like any Dragon Ruler with, like, a way to get to a Tomahawk is literally full combo. Okay, so you do this. 
of course summon tokens and he doesn't look like he has any interruptions right here so we pretty much have game so you guys will see this combo uh for the first time right here so this is what you're gonna do okay so you have tomahawk tokens right here you're gonna convert one token into link spider very crucial and now we still have three cards in hand all right guys look we're using the act the cards that we have access to in the grave uh so what can happen here is that i'm actually just going to use tempest tempest ability uh right here uh we're going to banish redox these two from the grave ladies and gents summon tempest here all right and now we're going to use of course redox ability here uh we are going to add uh, reacting directly from the deck to the hand so now we have like more ways to get into more monsters now we use these two to make geonator transverser right here and this guy won't even see anything coming bro watch watch this so make geo really important to make it into this zone or this zone it doesn't matter and now we're going to use three tomahawk tomahawk token and two tokens make sure you keep this one on the field okay to make aurora Dawn. this card should be banned i don't know why this card isn't banned yet this card is one of the most toxic cards to ever be created especially in Yu Gi Oh master duel cannot believe this card is not yet banned so of course summon three tokens and this guy honestly props to you juju uh thanks for uh not scooping in here in ranked okay so i'm gonna activate its effect right here we're gonna tribute itself and one token really important to special summon of course the mecha phantom beast o-line directly from the deck now using these two cards right here we are going to make your first card which is Deng Long. Deng Long is really important Deng Long is unbanned obviously and he's also a degenerate card that helps you go into more of your combos i got to i still have four cards in hand right and now we're going to trigger off um Deng Long one no 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 it should have been the other way uh yeah no 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 this, no, this is perfect okay so here we go uh o-line summon of course the token here ladies and gents and then yang zing is gonna add of course chi wen directly from the deck to the hand really important and now we're gonna do is that you're gonna normal summon the chi wen okay uh, we can even use deng long right now uh, this card just dumps the jiao two to the grave it becomes level two and you can use chi wen and of course thing to make cupid witch okay make cupid witch right here cupid pitch right here absolutely amazing and then you can use cupid pitch's ability uh she will increase her level and now using deng long and also level three we are going to make the garden rose maiden another ftk combo piece uh right here absolutely insane and now we're gonna use chain link one uh, uh deng long chain link two garden rose maiden absolutely insane Garden rose maiden is gonna search black garden directly from the deck to the hand and thing is going to special summon of course jiao to right here and now we're going to activate black garden okay and black garden is really important because it gives your opponent a token so now what we're going to do is that we are going to synchro summon into beals okay so summon beals right here into geonator zone okay summon this into geonator zone and by the way guys we can further extend if if you want to like we still have Nemesis Corridor, we have Nessie, we can do so many other crazier shenanigans, but there's no point. We're just literally just gonna go this, Geonator, switch Beals and the token, okay? And then use these two to make Assault Dragon, okay? And this would deal 1,000 damage to your opponent. So, summon Assault Dragon here. And it didn't give you here anything, you still have, like, Colossus access, this is crazy, right? It'll be uh, Chain Link uh, 1 Cupid, and then Chain Link 2 Garden absolutely insane this is when our ftk begins so you guys will see now i'm gonna token here and this would deal a thousand damage to your opponent beals will trigger he will and then it just deals 700 because beals will keep triggering dealing an infinite blue damage with a soul dragon so you're just chilling here and this is how you're gonna be able to win rank and if they interrupt you here you still have corridor in your hand and you know if you open up with unicorn you still have birth in your hand there's so many different things that, you know what i'm saying it's just too powerful you're just chilling. You're just big chilling. Look at that. It's toxic. It's very toxic. You know what I'm saying? Like, do I like this? No. Is it easy wins? Yes. Is it that good? Yes. Let's go on to the next game. Let's do it. Oh man, this is this is this is not a great hand because we open up with O line and Jet Synchron. Literally, the cards that we never want to draw, we end up drawing. It's it's kind of annoying. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you? Oh, really? Really now? Oh, please. Oh. Oh, this is crazy. 
We can actually special summon with uh, 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 we can actually spe special summon water monsters. Moon mirror shield. Oh, we got title too. Oh man, this is game. So we do this. Send Oline. Thank you, Oline. Oh man, this is the power of board breaking, ladies and gents. We add blaster. And then, oh my god, activate blaster. Oh my god. Holy smokes. Wow. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. You guys see that? The beauty of that? You guys see the beauty of that? No further damage for the rest of the turn, huh? So we, we, we need to see. He's playing like some sort of. It's a, it's a whack ass deck, bro. Honestly, this deck is a whack. It's a wacky ass deck. I feel that we need to set up a, a bunch of negates, all right? So we can't FTK because we drew both of our old line. Let's go ascended. Oh, we can banish. Yeah, he's already scooping, bro. Power of board breaking. This guy thought he could really just bury your statue in mass. This guy thought. Against dragon rulers? Come on. Come on. Wow, yo. Depends on what we're playing against. I, I don't think we're going to lose this duel. I do not think we're going to lose. I, oh, okay. Maybe, 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 maybe we're going to lose. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Yeah, who knows? Dogmatica, Ecclesia, yeah. Through our draw one. Okay, this is amazing. Okay, let's bait it out. If he doesn't pop it, yes. Oh, Dravuma Cannon. Actually reacted. Send these. Ash. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. We activate Tempest, search the other small baby. Yeah, and then we can use these to summon the Tempest. He's gonna punish him with this. Oh. Labyrinth. Oh, God. Okay. I hope he doesn't send Entis. Entis will be crazy. Oh, it is Entis. That's fine. This setup was crazy, bro. This man's setup was crazy. This man's setup was crazy, ladies and gents. We can potentially clap back. We can clap back. We can clap back. Let's do it, baby. He said it was crazy, bro. Like, he had too many disruptions. Like, we were trying our best to play through it. If we just had, like, one more extender, we we probably could have. But, yeah, which is unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But if that if that unicorn definitely went through, I I, I wasn't like, anticipating, like, a Daruma cannon as well, right? It, 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 it's 100% a bit. Oh, Daruma cannon is. Oh, oh, we drew the brick. Yep. Yeah, we're not winning this duel, guys. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just too many interrupts. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm scooping to this duel. Because he has Kukok in the hand. He can activate this on my turn. Oh, it's not worth it. Man, just, it's too many disrupts, bro. I'm gonna be honest. It's, it's hard. GG's. GG's. Honestly, guys, for a couple more duels, I want to build my deck to go second, to be honest. I think going second would be crazy. But you guys already saw the FTK. It's cool, but this is what I would play, to be honest. Cut this. All right, ladies and gents. This is my updated Dragon Ruler deck going second. I feel like the deck can do so much more going second. So I decided to swap out Ash and some weak cards going first and just build this deck just to go second. 
see how this would do i think this deck list is crazy the deck actually has so much utility which is why i love it so much not only can it break boards but it can also kill and this main deck is just absolutely ridiculous honestly you know let me just play let me play three dark ruler cut imprim to two mm, maybe even econ is better let me cut one ascendant of thunder and put in imprim because imperm nib is kind of crazy let's try this one more time ladies and gents in a format where everybody wants to go first let them go first you know what i'm saying we go second we break the boards all right that's that's all we're gonna do this hand is so good you got bro why do i keep seeing unicorn bro unicorn is amazing uh re re redox right here is great you know what i'm saying oh my god i like that i like that yes no problem we save imperm you rise hard, all right? You save that for the rise hard. You're so nice. You're so good at Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. We allow that. We allow that because we're gonna tr we're, we're gonna trigger off tactics. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Kosh to the earth, bro. How do you always draw the one of Fenrir, bro? You're so good at Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. You just always draw the Fenrir. Remember, guys. Remember, this deck becomes a rank four XC's deck guys remember this deck becomes an xyz deck okay this is now an xyz deck it is an xyz deck now a rank 7 xyz deck i mean rise heart that's it oh, he's playing he's playing around him respectable but then after i imperm the rise heart take the triple attack you take you know what i'm saying like it's kind of it's kind of whole for no sign of that. just birth what what you normal summon you normal summoning oh it's something ogre well, this play doesn't even play around Nib. This is just the worst play. If you just do this, you might as well make Shang. Yeah, like, you might as well make Shang. This is the fifth summon. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it doesn't do anything. I guess. Like, it, yeah, true. Big Bang. Sure. Can't even use Big Bang, bro. Bro. Oh, it's it. Anatoria Rise Heart Triggers. Is it a trigger? Oh no, never mind. I imprimed it. I'm a noob. Wait, what? Why does it want you can also exceed if uh, effect of a cashier and yours? Any card set to be is banished instead. Oh well. He loses anyways because now I just play into my tactics my tactics. matter he's losing the monsters anyways okay 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 thank you this is already game already guaranteed game already yeah this is the ultk yeah this like this like insane going second honestly i just i i, I didn't play a single dragon ruler card <laughs> i play a single dragon ruler card you know what i'm saying <laughs> but i this is i just literally straight catch tira. like this deck is a rank 7 turbo deck you guys already know it okay he has a nib for sure yeah. dog, ah, dog, ah, diggity dog, ah, da 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 Basil. Thank you so much, dogs outside. Appreciate you, you know what I'm saying? This man attacks three times, you know what I'm saying? So, thank you so much for playing the game of Yu Gi Oh! and I really appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Yeah.
Like, yo, go second is Nekis insane. Because there's just so many board breakers, and also these guys are dragons, right? If they get interrupted, it's pretty good. Clears the board, makes Zeus, and then go into your Galaxy Tomahawk plays. I think it's pretty ridiculous. All right, guys, here we go. Last and final duel. You know what I'm saying? Last and final duel. Let's go second, and let's break the board. Simple. Go second, break the boards, baby. Let's go. Come on. Dragon Brewers 2024. Let's get it, baby. This hand is actually amazing. This hand is actually beautiful. Such a gorgeous hand here. Ecclesia, yeah. Yes, sir. One, right? He better he he, be, he better have long you want to extend this. It's fine. I just don't want him to get too many searches. I just don't want him to get, him to get too many draws. Yeah, 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 just turn. Right? Because if you start off with the Ecclesia go boy and Mayo Tai, that means he he doesn't have any other 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 ways to extend. It's fine. And Tempest can also banish Unicorn as well. We go with this. Yep. It's a bad hand. This is good for board breaking, but other than that, like it's not it's not the greatest. Both chi shells are gone. Can't even make anything. Sure. Yep. 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 Might as well the back row. Yep, that's cool. I'm gonna tie it. Yep, the tie is fine. Cool. I'll just wait for droplet to the battle phase when he attacks with my unicorn. That's fine. Because if, if I negate uh, Taiye now, right? What I can do is... Yeah, he can still he can still make the Shaman. Shaman or like Moya would another monster. And then I, I get cooked there, right? So... Resend. Huh? What does that do? Because I'm, I'm, I'm getting birth... Unicorn back regardless. This guy's ass. Alright. Yeah, yeah he, should, he should go back to the pop this pop Moye, right? He's, he's pretty good. But he's not gonna be able to because I I, I just dropped with him. I just need any dragon, bro. Any dragon, any come on, please don't fail me, bro. Anna, okay. Juno's good. Doesn't do much. more damage literally guys yo come on yo please yeah, as long as that's not max yeah, i'm good i'm good with that i need baby dragon please oh nessie's good too activate birth help i hope this hits oh my god i'm so unlucky with nessie bro ash i knew it was an ash yeah It's some back and forth gameplay here, guys. Look, our, our, like my hand is ass, bro. You can normal summon level seven monsters without tributing. <laughs> Yo! What? I thought it was only normal summon level Kashira monster. I'm ass. I had these plays last turn. I'm shit, bro. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Whole, okay, no, I can't trigger off Shatana, bro. Holy, we go, we we, we ball now, bro. We ball now. We ball like Kobe. We grind like Kobe, baby. Holy smokes. I'm ass. What? Bro, I had combo. I could have just normal summoned. But also, I was playing into the Ash. I was also playing into the the the, the drop, the call by. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, just, so it's part of my strategy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? One. Two. Three. B five four from Okay, okay, okay. And then we uh cover our dawn. You just scoop, bro. Porky. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you for coming out, but you know you should scoop. You know what's on Corky, come on. 
But I can't kill you at least. You know I can't kill you. And I know you have Shatana in Graves. Trust me, I, 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 I know you got a little Shatana in there. Yes, sir. It's a back and forth gameplay. I love it. Yurt. Online, you know what I'm saying? Online, and then you make, of course, Axel. Oh, Orodon should be banned. You're banning Orodon, baby. Come on now. Holy smokes. Effect. Yes. That's my token. Effect. Reduce its level, baby. Send Jet for cost. Reduce its level, bro. Heck yeah. And honestly, usually when I summon Baron, it's pretty much over. Like, they, like, they just get the cue that it's over. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, summon Baron, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Like, no disrespect or anything. And then we just go activate Jet. You know what I'm saying? Just this. Summon Jet. And this into Cupid. Are you Cupid? Are you stupid, Cupid? Are you Cupid stupid, bro? Come on now. Are you Cupid stupid? Yes, baby. And then we increase its level. And then this and this makes Savage. Guys, I'm, I'm ass. So, you know, I am actually bad at Yu-Gi-Oh. Activate Savage. And Savage. Perfect. Yes, baby. Nope. Aurora Dawn. Cupid. Yes. Add this. Then we go. Tempest. We can actually banish the human from the grave. Banish title. Put Jetsuke on the top of our deck. Summon Corridor. And we make Colossus here. Colossus. Yes. Free banish, why not? I'm in Tempest. And then title surges. Another title. Yeah, Shatana, yeah, yes. Savage negate. I'm a savage. Sir. Wow. Here. Here. Can search. Here. A droplet. And our turn, bro. And this card will return to our hand at the end of the turn, so it'll be insane. And we get to normal summon it again. Castillo rebirth, rebirth it back. It's pretty insane, bro. Wow. Okay, let's turn it to our hand. And then this is, guys, this is this is it. This is the power of dragon rulers, my friends. Draw. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it going. I'm gonna keep it going. I'm gonna keep it going, guys. Watch this. You can normal summon this. Yeah. Oh, I was supposed to normal summon title, bro. I'm ass. Yeah. 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 Beto. Yes. Oh, yeah. It is not over yet, baby. It is not over. Yeah. Let's take it out. Let's take out. What else do you have in your deck? Yes. Chen Ying. See ya. 25. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm going to BM him a bit more. Oh, yeah. Shang. 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 Yeah. Don't mess with this deck, baby. Shang. Yeah. The little BM. Sorry, Corky. I appreciate you for staying, though. I appreciate you, Corky. Even homie drop, Corky. Effect. Yeah. Fenrir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Mo Yang. That was a great back and forth game. Holy smokes. That was good, guys. This was Dragon Rules 2024. They are back. XC's base deck. It's insane. Try it out yourselves. This deck is ridiculous.